Uh, next question goes to Senator Linares. Uh, you have a successful solar energy business, uh, yet the presidential candidate for your party and many Republicans dismiss human influence climate change as a myth. Uh, Mr. Trump has said he will focus on fossil fuel production and end renewable energy subsidies. Uh, do you support his positions and will you be supporting Mr. Trump? <laughs> Hillary Clinton has taken more money from the oil and gas industry than Donald Trump has to date, number one. Number two, I believe in a comprehensive energy policy, an inclusive policy, a competitive policy towards energy. I believe that there should be the same tax credits available to all types of energy. Let's let them compete. And I, for one, believe that renewables will do very well in that competitive environment. Now, trust me, the, the candidates for president are not perfect. And I don't agree with ending all renewable energy subsidy. Obviously, I'm a proponent for comprehensive energy reform. When it comes to the economy, Donald Trump has a plan to reduce corporate taxes. Hillary Clinton's plan is to raise taxes and I'm charge. Sorry, your time is up on this segment, but you will get you will get another response as we go back and forth. So keep those thoughts. We'll get back to it for sure, uh, Mr. Needleman. Uh, you can certainly res respond to the question I asked, Mr. Linares, But I think uh, voters might also like to know who you are supporting and why. And you I'm, I'm, I'm 65 years old, and I've never seen an election like this. Um, but I have seen elections where the choice comes down to the lesser of two evils. We've had that in the past. I've been voting since 1972. Um, and, uh, and I support Hillary Clinton for president, um, albeit at times quite reluctantly. Um, I, I don't think that Senator Linares answered one of the key questions, which is who does he really support? He was a delegate at the convention for Donald Trump, and nobody dragged him there. The leader of his caucus did not go. Um, and I think Donald Trump stands for some horrible things that I, I, I know people who know him personally. He is not somebody who is qualified or fit to be president of the United States. Um, and I have to tell you categorically, I believe that human activity is affecting um, climate. So what I would say um, to, uh, to Senator Linares' uh, answer is that I do believe that uh, subsidies should be granted to businesses like his, because I do believe we should be promoting renewable energy. I do believe we should have a strategy for phasing um, out of fossil fuels over time, and equal tax breaks should not be given to all energy companies, regardless of how much they pollute the environment. So I actually support your business, and I think it's great that you're doing that. Um, I wish you did it with uh, buying U.S. solar panels, but be that as it may. All right, thank um, you. Um, and as promised, you got another 30 seconds, Senator Linares, and perhaps you could take that time to fill us in on who you'll be supporting. For yeah, absolutely. I'm voting for Donald Trump. And for uh, number one, I think that, I'm, well, I'm voting Republican down the line this year because I think our country and our state needs to change direction. I also, and when it comes to the economy, as I was saying, Donald Trump plans to reduce, reduce corporate taxes. We need to do that in America. We have some of the highest corporate taxes in the industrial in the modern world. We have to reduce those taxes. Hillary wants to raise them and push businesses out. Donald Trump has a better plan to increase wages. He wants to use the earned income tax credit to increase wages. Hillary wants to increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Right. That'll hurt small businesses. I'm going to have to cut it off there to be fair with the timing.